truck vlog, just quick video. Um, pallet truck tips. Um, everyone knows how to use them anyway, but um, when you've got to store them on the back of a truck, you might you might have a full pack, full wagon or whatever, and you've got, you've got to put them on. A few different ways, um, and even like taking pallets off that uh, you can't get off if you've got to do it by hand. You don't have to these days much, but sometimes you might have to. The American pallets they used to be like awkward for normal pallet trucks, which way you, you see a lot of um, you see you can see a lot of uh, long pallet trucks because the normal standard pallet truck wouldn't pull an American pallet out of um, long ways. It's got the little the little slats for forklifts on the side. So you have, when you go in, you always catch a slat. The easiest way of doing that is just to actually keep doing it and bust the slat and pull the pallet out that way. That that'll get it out. And it's not, not the best way, but on a short pallet, on a standard pallet truck, on an American pallet, you can't do it. That's the only way of getting it out. But storing it on a uh, on a truck, um, you can put it in a tyre, empty tyre, lift, lift the handles up, put the wheel in the tyre, and then drop the drop the truck down, which means the heavy weight sits on the tyre, the tyre's not going to slide, the pallet truck can't slide because the wheel's in the tyre. Yeah, that's a, it, it, it can move occasionally, but you've got to be driving something silly to do it for it to happen. Uh, there used to be like a little uh, rubbery slope you could put your pallet truck in, little little hole in the pallet thing. Put the wheel in that, the the, the main wheel. That will stop it. And then um, the truck doesn't go anywhere. Um, you can put your pa pallet in the end of a pallet and go through to the next pallet. And when you hit the slat, raise the pallet up until you think the slat's going to break. But it's not going to break. But it won't move then either. Yeah. And then obviously you can just strap it if you want to strap it, but put it strapped around the pallet truck and then tie it so it can't strap it in so it can't move that way.